Good morning guys, it is 5.30 a.m. and we're about to head to HEB for their drop and then Sam's Club for their drop and then Costco for their drop. This is not something I normally do but Instacart has been really bad yesterday. We only made $53 in seven hours. So we're gonna put in the work, actually wake up early and grind. We'll see how this goes. My goal is to make around $50 to $70 before the Costco drop. Anyways, I have a 15 minute drive to the HEB before they open. All right guys, so we made it. We're working off about four hours of sleep because I am not used to being able to go to bed early for these things. I also haven't been up this early in a long time. It's pretty nice not having a ton of traffic and trying something new. So there is the HEB that we will be shopping at, I hope, shortly. It is 5.50 right now, so we got here basically just in time. From what I remember, it's actually pretty nice shopping here early in the morning. Um, the only thing is some stuff is being stocked, so it's the store is not completely yours, but at least there's less customers. So I'll get back to you guys in a minute whenever we find out what we get for the HEB order. Okay, so we just got a $47 order. It is 6 a.m. and we're about to make as much money as I made yesterday here in probably like an hour. This is a 74 unit order, but for $47, we're doing that. It's two people, 10 miles, good money. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm trying to pretend like I have energy, but there's none. One order, second order. All right guys, so that order took us an hour to shop, mostly because some of the stuff just wasn't out yet, so I had to wait. We will be close on making it to the Sam's drop, but I have high hopes. The only reason we might be close is just because the drop-offs are a little confusing. second drop off. I don't think we're gonna make the Sam's Club drop, but we'll see. We're gonna get there at 746 and the drop off will take a couple minutes because it sounds like it's a business or like assisted living. I should have been able to get this order done a little faster, but uh, yeah, it just wasn't the best shopping in there. A lot of back and forth and a lot of stuff being out of stock, unfortunately. cart today because that made that delivery way better. The unfortunate news is we will be getting to Sam's at 8.11 and at mine the drop should be at 8 so we'll see what happens. We made it to Sam's at 8.10 so if there was a drop we probably missed it but hopefully we get lucky here and we get an order still. All right we got a $30 Sam's Club order and a single. See how fast that person was going? That's crazy. They almost crashed straight into me. Anyways, we're 10 minutes away from our drop off, so we should make the Costco drop without a problem. We're gonna be starting at the drop at $85, which is uh, pretty good considering it's been hard to even make that much money lately. Should be pulling up to Costco at 10.02. That's gonna be close, guys. Very, very close. I would have been completely fine on making the drop, but they only had one register open at Sam's and a line with like 10 people, full carts. Kind of frustrating. All right, guys, so we pulled in at 10 a.m. exactly. My drop lately has been happening closer to 10.04, so hopefully, we're good. We're at $82 right now, which is really good, and I'm excited to see what happens at the drop. So 
just took a $46 Instacart order. It was 26 miles, but I decided I'm just gonna go back to where I live, which is where this order is going towards. And I'm just gonna do one or two more orders over there. And here we go. drive to our first drop off which what do you know is a business they want me to ask the front desk to find out where I need to put all the water and stuff for them in other words they want me to load up everything into their office for them which I'm probably gonna do it just to avoid losing a tip yikes so we're on to our next drop off which is unfortunately 30 minutes away. The drop off went pretty smooth. I'm really glad I had my cart with me today because that made that way easier. All right guys, so we are at $134. We just got gas and a snack. We got the beef and bean burrito and we got some nice Dr. Pepper off brand though. Also, I just filled up on gas and I got a better price at the gas station over here than Costco. You might be wondering, how did you do that? And I used GetUpside, and with me being a diamond cart shopper, I do get an additional discount whenever I'm at a GetUpside enabled store, basically shells. So I will have a link down below to GetUpside, check it out, it definitely has saved me some money so far and it could save you some too. All right, so we just took a $17 order, going even closer to my house. Then we're gonna sit at one more store and hope for one more order. And that store is even closer to my house. We're just slowly working our way back. Anyways, let's go shop this. All right, that was a close one. I think they use coordinates for their address with Instacart. And when I got there, Google told me to look for a completely different number. But yeah, luckily I always double check the number on my phone at the door because of this. And that's how I know I was at the right spot. Unfortunately, I did have a lady yesterday report her entire order missing, even though I have proof that I delivered it. So that sucks. But uh, the good news is we immediately got a small $12 order. It's going like one mile, 13 items. And then that'll put me at like 163, 164. We're gonna be going home. Time to edit. All right guys, so we just finished shopping that order. It was pretty easy. Two replacements, but she was responding really fast because she's a first time customer. I feel like most of them, because they're like new to the app, they're really good at responding actually. But yeah, we have a crazy two minute drive for this drop off, which isn't too bad. We'll probably be home in just like 20 minutes. So we're gonna be out here for a total of seven and a half hours, make right around 165. Pretty happy about that considering yesterday I made $50, so. All right, so we're getting scammed, it seems like. That's cool. Might be getting some free groceries out of it. So this says it's her first order, but she also said that's her old address. Like as if she just forgot to update it whenever she moved, but that's a little sus. Technically, I've been told that we're not ever supposed to deliver to a different address other than the one that's listed. So I'm gonna talk to support and see if they're gonna let me deliver to her. If not, I'm not messing with it. The part that sucks is I'm pretty sure they're gonna pause my account for at least 24 hours while this gets sorted out. So that could be a problem and it's not my fault. So she may have just costed me a ton of money if I follow the rules of Instacart. All right, so this support agent told me to just go ahead and do it. I'm kind of leaning towards that because I don't want my account to be put on pause because then I'll miss work tomorrow. I'm just kind of confused because I could have sworn that we weren't allowed to deliver to any other address, but this agent's telling me to. So what I did was I met her in person. I tried to get a hold of another agent just to make sure I wasn't gonna get into like a ton of trouble. 
there's no service over here. So what I did was slightly risky. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this doesn't come to bite me in the butt later. But yeah, $164 today in just under eight hours. I'll throw my hourly rate at the very end of this video, just like normal. And I'll see you guys in the next one.